Hello, everyone. So thank you very much for watching the Kibo Cube Academy On Demand Lectures. My name is Toshinori Kuwahara, Associate Professor at the Department of Aerospace Engineering of Tohoku University, Japan, and also the Chairperson of UNICEF Japan. This video clip is an introduction to the Kibo Cube Academy On Demand pre-recorded lectures. Now, 21 lectures about different kinds of CubeSat-related state-of-the-art space technologies and engineering topics, as well as uh, capacity buildings are available online on the homepage of UN USA. The lectures are provided by different lecturers in each specific field, which is one of the advantages of this lecture series. The lecture contents are comprehensive, and each of them is about one hour on average. We hope that uh, this lecture series provides you with valuable information for you to learn about CubeSat-based space development, utilization, and education. Please enjoy the lectures. Here is the overview of this presentation. Our first topic is the introduction to the KiboCube program. Second is the introduction to the KiboCube Academy. And finally, I introduce on-demand pre-recorded lectures in detail. The first topic is the introduction to the KiboCube program. The KiboCube program is a cooperation program between the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs the UN USA, and the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, on CubeSat deployment from the International Space Station's Japanese experiment module called Kibo. This picture above is the Kibo module attached to the ISS. And the picture below is showing the moment of CubeSat deployment from the tip of the robotic arm of the KiboCube module. The KiboCube program aims to provide educational and research institutions of developing countries holding United Nations membership with nanosatellite or CubeSat deployment opportunities from the ISS Kibo, which they uh, develop and manufacture. So this Kibo module is one of the modules to deploy CubeSats from the ISS. Kibo's unique capability is comprised of an airlock system and a robotic arm. Since the first orbital deployment of CubeSats from Kibo in 2012, nanosatellites and CubeSats from various countries around the world have been deployed from Kibo. Kibo Cube can lower the threshold for space activities and can contribute to building national capacity in spacecraft engineering, design, and construction. The deployment of CubeSats from the ISS is easier than direct deployment by a launch vehicle thanks to a milder mechanical environment during the launch, as well as a higher frequency of access to space. The objectives of the Kibo Cube Academy are to provide a series of fundamental knowledge to achieve the goal of the Kibo Cube program, which can be summarized as follows. Introduction to space systems and advantages of space technologies development and utilization. Introduction to engineering aspects of CubeSat systems, their capabilities, and application examples. Management knowledge about the development process of CubeSats and engineering knowledge about how to make reliable satellite systems engineering knowledge about satellite testing and verification, 
information about leveraging CubeSat projects as a su sustainable capacity building program and engineering knowledge about satellite operation and related regulations. The on-demand pre-recorded lectures are one of the contents of the Kibo Cube Academy. As summarized in this table, uh, in total 21 lectures about different kinds of CubeSat-related state-of-the-art space technologies and engineering, as well as uh, capacity building topics are now available online on the homepage of the UN USA. As you can see in this table, the scope of the lectures cover a diverse range of space-related topics. And these lectures are provided by different lecturers in each specific field. Each of the lectures are designed to be about one hour on average. Also, the contents of the curriculum are planned to be maintained and extended in the following years. We hope that this lecture series provides you with valuable information for you to learn about CubeSat-based space development, utilization, and education. We are happy if uh, this can contribute to expanding the people and national uh, nations involved in space development and utilization. And if it can uh, accelerate the progress in technology development and capacity building, we are very much happy. So we are very much looking forward to any feedback from the community as well. In the following slides, I'd like to briefly introduce our lectures. The first slide is about me. My name is, again, Toshinori Kuwahara, an associate professor of Tohoku University. So my research topics are space development, utilization, and exploration by small spacecraft technologies. I am in charge of lectures one, six, seven, 10, and 14. The next lecturer is Professor Mengu Cho of Kyushu Institute of Technology. His research topics are lean satellite and spacecraft environment interaction. He is in charge of lectures 2, 15, and 21. Our next lecturer is Professor Shinichi Nakasuka of the University of Tokyo. His research topics are micro nano pico satellites, novel space systems, guidance, navigation, and control, and autonomy and intelligence for space systems. He is in charge of lectures three and four. The next lecturer is Mr. Yoshihiro Tsuruda, a lecturer of Teikyo University. His research topics are micro nano pico satellite system design and electrical components design and ground station development. He is in charge of lectures eight and nine. The next lecturer is Associate Professor Hiraku Sakamoto of Tokyo Institute of Technology. His research topics are space deployable structures, systems engineering for small spacecraft development and utilization. He is in charge of lectures 11 and 12. The next lecturer is Associate Professor Yuji Sakamoto of Hokkaido University. His research topics are design, assembly, and evaluation of micro and nano satellites, as well as uh, satellite operation and ground station management. He is in charge of lectures 
13 and 17. The next lecturer is Professor Hironori Sahara of Tokyo Metropolitan University. His research topics are development of innovative space systems, such as uh, propulsion, system architecture, orbit cultivation, and their applications, including artificial materials. He is in charge of lecture 16. The next lecturer is Associate Professor Masahiro Yamazaki of Nihon University. His research topic is systems engineering for small spacecraft development and utilization. He is in charge of lecture 18. The next lecture is Associate Professor Kikuko Miyata of Meijo University. Her research topics are small spacecraft system and related technology. She is in charge of lecture 19. Our final lecturer is Professor Toshia Hanada of Kyushu University. His research topics are long-term sustainability of outer space activities, space debris modeling, and space situational awareness. He is in charge of lecture uh, 20. Last but not least, lecture five is provided by Ms. Yasuko Shibano of JAXA. These are the lecturers uh, in the Kibo Kibo Academy on-demand pre-recorded lecture series. We hope our lecturers can provide useful information for you. I conclude this presentation. The KiboCube program provides educational and research institutions of emerging countries holding United Nations membership with critical support to build national capacity in spacecraft engineering, design, and construction through CubeSat deployment opportunities from the ISS Kibo. The KiboCube Academy aims to provide a fundamental knowledge for applicants to achieve their goals through KiboCube, including various aspects such as management and engineering expertise. JAXA and UNUSA hope that the knowledge and information shared through KiboCube Academy will lead to successful space missions for the participants. Thank you very much for your attention.